Hi, it's Five Ingredient Friday, and I am back today making a sheet pan meal. So what I have here is my oven is heat preheating to 425, and why it was pre started to preheat, I cut up my sausage. You can leave it whole. It takes a little bit longer to cook. Um, I've chopped up some broccoli. We've got a, about a pound and a quarter of sausage and a pound of broccoli. And then in here, I measured out a half a pound of regular gnocchi and a half a pound of cauliflower gnocchi. You don't have to measure it out. You can just buy a pound of one. Whatever your personal family preferences are works. Um, so I have a sheet pan that I have lined with parchment paper. And on that, I am going to add the broccoli. And then the cauliflower. And then, so that's two ingredients. For ingredient number three, we have some olive oil, which I'm going to do one tablespoon over the broccoli and one tablespoon over the gnocchi. And then a half for my fifth ingredient. Oh no, sorry, that was three. three. For my fourth ingredient, I'm going to do a half a teaspoon, oops, a little bit extra, of salt on the gnocchi and a half on the broccoli, or you could just do one teaspoon and eyeball it half and half. With that, I'm going to mix it all with my hands to make sure there's a little bit of olive oil and salt on everything. Make sure it's fully coated. I, I like to break up the gnocchi so that it doesn't stick together and make sure to get some olive oil on them so they also don't stick. All right, so I think we're about fully coated. And now I'm going to make some space and add on my sausage. And we like sweet Italian sausage, but whatever your family's preference is, uh, works here. If you do pre-cooked, it'll take a little bit less time, uh, but you still kind of have to wait for everything else to cook. So I like to do it not pre-cooked. And for some reason, I haven't found a family favorite of the pre-cooked ones, uh, but I do like to get chicken sausage too sometimes, either chicken or pork will work here, uh, whatever your family's dietary requirements are or preferences are, that works. Okay, so we are all set up. There you go, that's how it looks. Uh, it took me about five minutes of prep work beforehand time and this took me about three minutes. So in under 10 minutes, you are all set up and just have to pop it in the oven. I will pop it in the oven for about 25 minutes. Halfway through, I'll rotate it, but I'll show you. All right, we're 12 minutes in, and this is how we're looking. Looking good. I'm giving it a quick stir. You can rotate the pan too if you want, but um, that's good. All right, we're 12 minutes in. You can hear it sizzling. I'm just gonna give it a quick stir. Make sure everything's getting coated, and it's good. All right, 12 more minutes. We'll see how we're looking.